What's good? What's good? And welcome back to Invest and Trade with Jax. We're going to go over Polygon, guys. Matic. Uh, currently, we're sitting at $1.35. We're up about 6% on the day. It's a little bit of a reversal pattern for Matic. We're sitting at a market cap of $8.71 billion. 24 hour volume is $955 million. All right, guys. Hey, if you're new to crypto.com, sign up to the world's fastest crypto growing app. Receive $25 in crypto just for signing up through my referral, my favorite app for investing. So we can see here, guys, we've had a rounding bottom. You see how we came down like this? and we've broken out of the neckline. So we're seeing a little bit of increase in volume here. Your technical target is $1.38. I am currently in a trade playing this breakout, but I'm monitoring it very, very closely, very, very closely as we have seen quite a few fake outs lately. Guys, sign up to Bybit. That's where I trade Matic. They have leverage trading as well as spot trading available. You receive up to $600 in bonuses. So you can see here we had our ascending triangle, which is a bullish pattern, but it can break to the downside, and it did, and it met our technical target. We've had a reversal pattern. We're just starting to break out here. So here's Matic on the four hour. I noticed this pattern as well. It's a descending triangle, which is a bearish pattern, but of course it can also break up to the upside. And if it does, it will take us back up to basically the golden ratio here at $1.56. But if we were to get rejected here and we rolled over, and we broke down out of this pattern, it could bring us down to a dollar. But a dollar 20 has been such a major level of support. And you can see we've already touched it three times. And if we scroll back here, you can see previous level of resistance. And I talked about this breakout and I said, we haven't come back to back test a dollar 20 as support. And now we've finally done that. You can see resistance in this area, support in this area. We've been covering that dollar in between that dollar 20 to dollar 24 for a long time on this channel, all right guys? So if we do break to the upside here, we get back above the EMAs. That could be a juicy little trade opportunity here of about 17%, all right guys? If we do break it down, then your technical target is down here at a dollar. So we'll look at Matic here on the one day. All right guys, so you can see we're currently hitting resistance on the 20 EMA on the daily. So if we do break out of this pattern, it would get us back above the EMAs, which would be absolutely crucial if we're going to see continuation, because if we get rejected here, we do roll over and we head back down to a dollar. We're going to start to see the bearish cross on the daily, and that's not a very good signal. It's quite a bearish signal here. As you can see here, we had the bearish cross and we had quite a significant sell off. So if we do lose a dollar 20 as support and we come all the way down, we might see a significant sell off once again. But I have a do have a bias towards the upside here. We do have a bullish divergence you can see here we created a low we created lower lows but on the rsi let me just grab my little trend line here you can see we're creating higher lows which is a bullish divergence so if you do see us break out here beautiful sign of continuation so let's quickly look at ethereum all right so here's ethereum on the one hour and we've had a diamond reversal pattern as you can see here and we have broken out so your technical target here from this pattern could bring Ethereum back up pretty close to 3477, which was a previous level of resistance, previous level of support here. Just gonna put it onto the four hour, open it up. There was also some resistance in this area and pretty close to a previous swing high here for Ethereum. So let's just scroll back here. So we can see here on the four hour that Ethereum is just starting to get back above the 20 EMA. And we're also having our bullish divergence for Ethereum. You can see we're creating lower lows, higher lows on the four hour chart, signifying that the bears are losing strength here. And we may see a reversal in the trend. What you want to see here is we get back above 3352 and especially get back above the 55 on the four hour chart. And that would be a beautiful sign of a reversal in the trend. And we're going to see continuation back to the upside here. However, guys, if we do come up and get rejected by the 55 once again, as we did here, then we can roll over and come back down to this level of support. 3202 for Ethereum. All right, guys. So we'll end the video here with Maddox. Shout out to the Discord, guys. We have over 1,000 members talking all things crypto, posting chart patterns, posting funny memes, posting all kinds of statistics and analysis here. Price of a coffee, you can sign up through the Patreon. So I would definitely keep an eye on this descending triangle on the four hour. If we do break out to the upside, we back test as support, we get back above the 55, your target is $1.56. And if we get re rejected here, we roll over, then do target a dollar. But we are having a bullish divergence on the daily, which does signifies that the bulls are taking back control here. So let's see if we can get back above the 55 EMA here on the four hour chart. That's it for Matic, guys. Smash that like button, sign up to Bybit. That's where I trade Matic. Make sure to follow me on Instagram, check out the Discord, and I'll see you in the next one. Much love. Take care.